everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is why is my voice cracking <laughs> what is going on hi yeah everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Segan and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a black owned makeup brands video I am super excited for this video if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel just yet please be sure to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started so let's get started on my brows for today's video I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty brow MVP I'm in the color soft black they have this brush side to this pencil but I don't use this side at all I just kind of use a spoolie and then I draw in my brows uh, with the actual pencil so to get started let's just fill in my brows as you guys know if you guys watched my previous video of how I do my brows I've been setting my brows and then drawing them in I just find that it looks much better that way Ooh, what is this so I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas just just to fill in the gaps. I do like that detailed, hairy, soapy brow look lately, so I'm just going to leave it very hairy looking. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go along the bottom of the brow and just fill them in. And this is crazy, I feel like this is the exact shade of my actual brow hair which is kind of weird because that never happens. If you guys are interested, all the products will be linked in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. I am going to move on to concealer. With this video, I want to use all black owned beauty brands, so this is a new one for me. As you guys know, I love Fenty Beauty, so that's not a shocker there, but Black Opal is a brand that I have seen online, but I haven't necessarily seen in stores. So I'm gonna be using a new product and I'm really happy and excited because it's black owned and it's Black Opal. I'm sure you guys have seen this around on Instagram. I know I have, but I haven't necessarily seen it in stores. So I went to a beauty supply hair store and I asked if they carried some and they did, thankfully. They didn't have all of their like line, but I did pick up a few foundation sticks that we're going to test out in this video and also their uh, total coverage concealing foundation. I was looking for their concealer and their concealer on their website is like a um, lipstick looking concealer but they didn't have it at the store so I figured uh, this will work as a concealer because it's a concealing foundation. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a concealing foundation means. I just saw concealer and foundation so I'm thinking okay maybe it's like a thicker concealer I don't know anyway this is what it looks like and it's in the color rich caramel so I'm just gonna take my detailed brush just to kind of clean up around my brows so I'm just kind of working the product in and it is super creamy which is good I don't mind that we're just going to clean up our brows yeah this color is not bad at all it is super thick though Ooh wee. <laughs> It, it's super thick, okay. Which I'm not mad at, to be honest. I like thicker, like a thicker consistency, but again, like I have pretty dry skin. It's like normal to dry skin, so it really depends on your skin type, I guess, but I like a full coverage Concealer, foundation, all of that. I'm gonna fix the lids later, so don't worry about that too much. <laughs> or I'm not. I'm just gonna use the excess just on top of the brow here. I don't want too much. Cause I wanna make sure it blends nicely. So now that I've kind of like carved out my brows, I'm just gonna take a brush and a beauty blender and just blend it out. Actually, this might work as a concealer. Oh, I haven't smelt it yet. Oh, I'm excited. Oh wow, it smells like nothing. It's legit, it smells like nothing. Wow, well if, you're, uh, if you have a sensitive nose like me, then you'll love this product. <laughs> Cause it actually smells like nothing. Like you know how like some products, like even Fenty products have a scent to it. 
I find. But Fenty is like a softer scent, whereas like, you know, other brands like Huda Beauty are very fragrant, I find. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I guess, preference. But I always have to smell my products. I don't know, I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do. I'm actually really excited to try the foundation sticks because number one, I don't ever really use foundation sticks. I tried one foundation stick way back, like I wanna say two years ago, and it was the Maybelline foundation stick, and it was terrible, like I did not like it, so I just figured all foundation sticks are kind of annoying, so I'm like, maybe I'm just like a liquid foundation kind of girl, but I just never went back, but I'm excited to try these ones out. Oh my God, I hope it works out. So far, this concealer foundation hybrid is really nice. It's not too, too bad and it doesn't smell, so. So that is pretty much the concealer, liking this, um, and the brows, you know I'm liking them. Hold on, how does it, how does it look? Okay, okay, not bad. Okay, so just a bit of a, you know, heads up, your girl got some acne scars. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know, and if you guys haven't been watching my vlogs, watch it. <laughs> because your girl broke out. And I know I talk about this almost every video, but it just, it is what it is. So when we test out this foundation, we're gonna see if it covers my acne scars. All right, so I picked up three of these uh, foundation sticks. Um, I got one in the color Truly Trope. I also got it in Heavenly Honey. And the last one I got in Rich Caramel. So, ooh, mama is thick, by the way. Holy smokes, do you see that? So this is all the product that you get. I figured if I was Rich Caramel in the concealing foundation shade, I'd be Rich Caramel in the foundation sticks. But to kind of like give you a bit of perspective, I'm going to swatch them on the side of my face and see if I match better with the other two colors. All right, so these are the three colors that I purchased. They're really a part of like the same hue. Heavenly, Rich Caramel and Heavenly Honey, like they're pretty close together. Let's swatch these on our face. So I'm gonna go with the Truly Trope first. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in real quick. Come closer, closer. Uh, we have Rich Caramel, or Caramel, however you guys pronounce it. I'm gonna put it right over here. <laughs> Mama is light. Okay, let's take a look at Heavenly Honey. Okay, Heavenly Honey is even lighter. Mm. <laughs> I might use this as a highlight though i love when things work out at the end okay so i'm going to yeah i'm gonna mix these two because none of these match me and just for reference i am in the shade 385 for fenty beauty and you guys already know how much i love that foundation so that is like my point of reference um but rich caramel Ooh. i'm gonna have to mix these two for sure all right, so I'm going to wipe this off my face and then we are going to start with foundation. All right, so first things first, before we get into foundation and whatnot, we are going to start with priming our face. For today's video and for all my videos, <laughs> I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Primer. It's their hydrating primer. So I posted if you guys have actually used um, Black Opal and a handful of you guys said that you haven't uh, which i'm really shocked at because i feel like i see them on social media a lot um but anyway it's always good to try and support black owned businesses oh and black owned channels <laughs> just kidding um anyway actually no i'm not please subscribe anyhow okay so i'm seeing people pronounce it as truly ch topaz so we are going to take, we're gonna mix the two foundations. We're gonna take Truly Trope, 
don't know why I can't pronounce it, Truly Topaz and Rich Caramel, and we're gonna blend out our face. So this is what the packaging looks like. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like obsessed with like their label and how simple it looks. Like, I don't know, like I, I like, I like, I, I don't know, I really do like the, the font, like everything about it. I don't, maybe it's cause it's black and white, I don't know. I love it. Um, but it says for every shade of beauty, Skin Perfecting Foundation, Board Spectrum, SPF. Ooh, it has SPF, that's amazing. Okay, great. Um, so it has SPF in it, which is fantastic. Um, I already applied on SPF, but it's always good to have it in your foundation, which doesn't happen often. Anyway, so I'm gonna apply some Rich Caramel. Woohoo! Mama is light. And then some Truly Topaz. So I'm just going to mix the two. All right, so I'm just gonna take my blending brush and blend out the foundation. I just like to take the excess and apply it on my forehead. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, hello. I don't like putting foundation on my forehead. I just, I, I just, I don't know. I just can't. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of that rich caramel because I think I went in a little too much with uh, the darker shades. So I'm going to add just a little bit of the rich caramel. Okay, much better. Okay, here we go. We're here. <laughs> oh my God. I guess mixing these two are like a match made in heaven, at least for my skin tone. Just for your reference, I'm using natural light while recording this video, so, which I find is like the best. I'm not mad at it, I'm not, oh my god, okay. The only thing is, is that that honey color was just like way too light, but again, we can use it as a highlight. My only thing is, it might be a bit tricky using it as a highlight because of how thick the stick is. But we can use a brush, we can get creative. Also, if the lighting comes in and out, it's because it's pretty cloudy in Toronto today. Um, so the sun is just peeking through the clouds right now. Because Heavenly Honey was like super light for me, I'm gonna go in and use that as a concealer. Let's see if it can work as a concealer. If not, we're gonna use the concealing foundation. And I'm just gonna go in, in the inner corner. Actually, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad, sorry. <laughs> I love when things work out. I mean, who doesn't, but really and truly, it's not that bad. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> your girl is a little worried. Uh, I'm gonna go in, in the inner corner here. And add a bit of that I mean, it's technically a foundation, but we're gonna use it as a concealer, it's fine. And again, I'm going in with Heavenly Honey, and I'm just gonna go in that inner corner and on the side here, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Mama is thick, so we're not gonna let it set. We're just gonna blend almost immediately. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually really excited for this Heavenly Honey. I, always, I just wish it was like a little smaller. I'm sorry, I love thick, Concealers like I know again. This is not a concealer. It's a foundation stick. I get it, but oh I love thicker concealers Because it's like baby you just make me look flawless like also as this foundation is setting I'm noticing it's Kind of drying down to my liking <laughs> Yo, this day is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, um let me go in and blend out this concealer. But first, I need a sip of that coffee. Hey, are you ready? I'm ready, okay, let's blend this out. Also, I'm using these beauty blenders that I showed you guys in my Amazon finds video. Everything will be linked down below, but this is like, you get six for, I wanna say like 10 bucks or something like that. Anyway, it's really good. And the quality is amazing, just saying. I've washed it like a thousand times. What the hell? Oh, 
Okay, I was nervous that the foundation wouldn't blend nicely with the beauty blender, but I take that back. It blended out really nice and smooth. Oh my God. Okay, first off, I'm going to take another layer of this Heavenly Honey. We Heavenly Honey, just like your name, sweetheart. And then we are just going to, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to like my dip area. And then we're gonna set with their powder. It just makes my skin look like <laughs> pores where don't know you yo this might be a part of the rotation what can i say so now that i have the concealer blended out the foundation is actually setting quite nicely i'm gonna use their setting powder and so this is something that i've been seeing everywhere <laughs> and i think that's like what i don't know if this is what they're known for i want to say they're known for their stick foundations but baby when i tell you i've been seeing a lot of people with their setting powders i just don't know what it is anyway so this is the true color soft velvet finishing powder and it's soft focus formula slash natural matte finish which is up my alley so you know that i love the laura mercier translucent powder i use it in all of my videos and trust and believe I was trying to find a drugstore setting powder that would give me the same kind of you know oomph but I couldn't really find one and so it's a great investment if you guys are looking for a higher end setting powder but we are going to check this out and see if this is really good okay so first off the color is a bit different and by different I mean darker than the Laura Mercier translucent powder but we're still gonna try it out. I'm just gonna give you guys a close-up of what it looks like. The Laura Mercier is a bit more like beige. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend out my concealer one last time. That way I'm not, you know, setting creases. So I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm gonna dust off some excess and then go in. on my concealed area and I am not one to bake I don't like baking baking does not work for me um, again I think it has something to do with the fact that I have drier skin and I'm not saying that baking doesn't work if you have drier skin it's just my experience has been not the greatest but i think it might be because my under eyes are super super dry i'm constantly rubbing them and things like that so i wouldn't necessarily advise if <laughs> you have like drier under eyes to set under your eye because it'll just make your eyes look more creasier if that makes sense i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and just press the product in my under eye area and we're also gonna get my laugh lines which i always forget about but then i'm reminded when i'm laughing and smiling and there's a big ginormous line and if you guys have watched my previous videos i get one huge gash right over here because i don't know if I'm, I'm like my smile is much stronger on this side i don't know if i'm doing like an elvis kind of like <laughs> i don't know what it is like i think i smile pretty normally but this side gets like the worst crease anywho's Let's blend out my mouth area. Make sure everything is nice and blended. And I'm going to do the same. Try not to talk so bigly, if that makes sense. And just set around my mouth. Okay, not for nothing, this powder is my skin tone. <laughs> Let's be real. I don't know if it just kind of melts into whatever skin tone you are, but baby, this is me. That's another thing. I might not put a lot of foundation on my forehead, but what I will do is set my, set my forehead. And I'm just gonna set just a little bit more powder and just, again, set along my jawline here. So we're gonna add some bronzer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty bronzer. It's the Beijing Gel 
just to add a little bit of warmth to my face. So for our cheeks, we're gonna use the Kilowatt by Fenty Beauty and I'm gonna go in with, I have Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule and so I think I might go with Ginger Binge. Yeah, I'm gonna do Ginger Binge on our cheeks. Just gonna dust that. Oh, I wanna try the Fenty Beauty cream blushes and bronzers. Oh my God. I need to buy those. Oh my god! <laughs> I look so adorable! Oh my god. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna use some brown eyeshadow by Juvia's Place and this is the Masquerade Mini palette. I'm gonna go in with this brown right over here. Things with Juvia's Place, I feel like they're notorious for their eyeshadows because of how pigmented their colors are but i do know that they've launched uh foundations and other products but i haven't gone it yet but i've been hearing really good things about it so i might have to order them soon so i'm gonna do the rest of my eyes off camera and i'll be right back let me turn off the music because copyright is real so i'm gonna be using two matte lipsticks for my lips. It's actually a Habesha owned makeup brand, which is amazing. So they go by the name of Hell Az. Hell Az? Hell Az. It's like Helen and Almas. Hell Az. Mm, cool. Or maybe, I don't know if that's like, I don't, I don't know if that's the hybrid, but I'm just thinking like, what could Hell Az? Hell Az. It's really pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Wobetz. That's in number four. And I'm gonna also go with Berenci. Birech, Birechi. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go in with that in the middle. I used to have this one shade called Samara, which was really pretty. Anyway, let's go in with Wobet. It's a nice brown. I think it's brown. Yeah. I'm almost gonna use it as a lip liner. And then in the middle, I'm going to use the lighter color. I'm actually loving this combo. Okay. Those are our lips. And I'm actually going to put some clear gloss on top to kind of like make it nice and smooth and luscious. The color combo of these two and a clear gloss on top is the way to go. And this is the final look, guys. I used all black-owned makeup brands with the exception of my mascara. I completely forgot about the mascara. And I figured, I'm like, okay, maybe I have lashes that are black-owned. I don't. Uh, so if you guys have any mascaras or um, lashes that are black owned and brands that you want me to try, please leave them in the comment section down below. I completely missed on that front. But everything else from the foundation to the eyeshadow to the brows to the lips are all black owned. I am super happy and proud of this video. Please let me know any favorite black owned businesses that you guys want to shout out in the comment section down below. I'd love to check them out and I'd love to actually support them and buy their product as well. I hope I can create like a community where we can help and support one another. So please don't forget to leave that in the comment section down below. And again, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel just yet, support a black YouTuber. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. There is a haul on the way. I know how much you guys love try on hauls, so that is coming up as well. So be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification as well. That way you are notified every single time I drop a video on my channel. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the ongoing support on my channel. You guys are amazing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.